Well, next week, NASA is launching a new chapter in space exploration with the Artemis One mission. Now, this mission is the first phase of a new era for NASA, which will pave the way for humans to go to the moon and eventually Mars. Here to talk about this historic mission is Sean Fuller. He is the manager of the Gateway Program. Good morning, and thanks so much for joining us, Sean. Good morning. It's great to be here. Exciting times as we get ready for this first launch. Absolutely exciting. And NASA is launching, as we said, that historic mission next week. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, this is going to be our first test flight of the SLS. That, that's our big rocket in Orion spacecraft. So we're not flying people in it this time. This is a test mission we're going to launch. It's going to be about a 42 day mission. We're going to go out and beyond the moon to test all of our systems, bring it back, splash down off the California coast. We're going to run uh, the system, ring it all out, and get ready to launch crew on the next flight. It'll take crews out beyond uh, the moon. So how will Artemis get NASA ready to send humans to the moon and Mars? Yeah, absolutely. So, so this is a first step. We're going to put humans on the next flight. After that, it'll be a lander that'll take crews to the lunar surface. We're also going to be building out the program that I work on called the Gateway Program. It's going to be a small space station around the moon where we'll have the opportunities for the landers to go back and forth from the moon's surface. We call that sustainability. So we're gonna reuse it this time, bringing those samples back, doing science and research on the lunar surface, advancing our technologies. And then one day, Gateway is that stepping stone to send humans from the earth moon area all the way out to Mars and then back. And so we're really starting that. This is a first domino in that whole series of events next week. So that is so exciting. Sean, we've been to the moon before. How is this mission different from the Apollo program? Yeah, this is different. Our SLS and Orion, it takes four crew, and we can fly Orion for up to 21 days. Apollo was 14 days. It was a one shot. It was kind of like that first scouting mission, if you will, to the moon. Let's go test it, see what it's about, and come back. Now we're building it in what we call a sustainable manner. Longer duration. We'll have rovers on the surface. Crews will be there for longer duration, starting at one week. The, the latter Apollo missions were three days on the surface. We're going to start with one week and grow from there really building out that infrastructure. Sean, there are so many exciting aspects to this, but is there a particular component that you're most excited about? I just think overall, you know, I've got daughters that, that are now almost college age. They've grown up in an era where there's always been a human living off the earth in our International Space Station. That's kind of the norm. Now we're building out a new norm where it's humans going beyond the earth, going out to the moon, further on out to the Mars. I just really think that's really spectacular. As, as I look back on history, those revolutions that were major milestones for us, it really opened doors. I see this happening in space and human exploration uh, through Artemis. Yeah, and it really is amazing that maybe in my lifetime, I can see people go to Mars, right? So Sean, for viewers who wanna learn more about this, about the Artemis program, where can they go to find that info? Yeah, absolutely. You can catch us on all the socials, but also nasa.gov and nasa.gov slash Artemis. A lot of great information there. Watch us on NASA TV and, and probably a lot of other outlets come Monday morning. We'll see the launch, but then you'll have a lot of different coverage from it. We're going to have some special things inside Orion. You can track it along along the way and find out what's happening on the mission. That as well as our next steps and how we're getting ready for those. We will be tracking along with you. Sean Fuller, the manager of Gateway Program with NASA. Thank you so much for your time and all the wonderful information this morning. Thank you. Looking forward to next week. Good luck.